Do you want to do a wrap up or or the journey? I mean, journey <laughs> or the journey? Okay, all right. Time to get serious. It's filming. Okay. Hey guys! Hey guys! So today we are doing a spoiler-free review of Passenger by Alexander Brecken. Send more enthusiasm. I know. So before we get started, please like and subscribe to our channel. I think Emma should put the subscribe button right here. Click my face. subscribe will be right there. So the first thing we're going to mention is the absolutely best thing about it, and that's the cover. It's so pretty. You've seen it everywhere. If you have not, I don't. Have you been living under a rock? It's everywhere for the past year. It's in bookstores. It's all over YouTube, and we're finally getting it done. I have and to say, this was definitely a cover by more than anything because it, it's a cover by. It's I mean, so it was. A, it sounded like an interesting read, so that yes. helped it. But it's also a very nice cover. Yes. I rate the cover like five out of five. Yes. But I rate the book two and a half stars. Wow, you gave it more than I was giving. I was giving it a two. <laughs> I only gave it a two. I, I gave it a half. <sighs> so this story follows Etta, who is a fantastic violinist who somehow gets transported into time and becomes a time traveler. So Etta has no idea about time travel, and this kind of throws her for a loop, obviously, as she gets into this world of time travel and mystery and craziness. And then we have another character, Nicholas, who knows about time travel and owns a ship, the exact same one that Etta falls onto. Oops, onto. <laughs> or shoves. Shoves. If you want to get shoves. technical, shoved onto. So Etta has to go through a lot of self-discovery. Self-discovery in this book as she realizes how she got to this time, why, and how she needs to be involved on how to fix things. So, at one point, Etta needs help and Nicholas decides to give it to her and they go through different time eras. They discover mysteries and learn new truths about her family lineage and what it has to do with time travel. So, the things that we liked about this book. I think the one thing I did actually like about this book is the fact that um, Nicholas was not white. He is an African American man from the 1500s, so it adds that diversity to it and the situation of what we're reading to because of how hard it is for him to be in that time, what it is involved with slavery and his family history in that situation. So that was a really cool. Um, aspect to it. I thought that was mm -hmm. the best thing out of the entire book was that one character and how diverse it brought. I do like that it added a thing to it for Etta too because she is used to our, more our time period where it's a lot easier to be a black person versus then. So when he's starting to get like put down by other people she wants to jump in and save him and she can't because or else she'll like make a mistake and tell everyone that she's not yeah. from that world. All well, the parts that we didn't like about this book, actually 98% of this book I did not like. Mm -hmm. There was such a hype for when it first came out that I decided not to read it because I thought maybe because of the hype it would let down for me mm -hmm. and I didn't want that so I was like okay I'll wait a year and maybe it'll be better when there's no hype. I read this and it still sucked. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> that is as honest as I can be personally. This book sucked and I cannot see why people rave about it. I hate to say it because you know I really did want to read it but it went to my DNF pile. I It was slow, it was hard to get into. The third person perspective I don't think helped it at all because there was a lot of it's, times that we it's just... It's very dull. Mm -hmm. It's not very charismatic. There was no connecting with the characters. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel any connection there with was no connection the characters at with all. Them. I wasn't engrossed into the story as I should have been because it sounded like a great idea mm -hmm. but at most times I was trying to tell myself just finish this chapter and then put it down and it'd be put down for like three days before I thought oh I should probably read it. I didn't want to get back into it and read it. I mean we both actually love time travel books. There's a lot of time travel books we've read and so that's why we had such high hopes Yes, because it sounded like a great idea and, and it's, it's an area intriguing. we like. And the characters had potential to be good. They just weren't. They fell flat. Written well. <laughs> they fell flat. They did. Nicholas was an interesting character. He brought an interest to it, mm -hmm. but 
I just couldn't feel connected to him. And then Etta, she's from the 21st century, but it sounds like she's actually from the 18th century, the way mm -hmm. she talks. Yep. There's no mention of anything 21st century related. She, there's no mention of a cell phone yes. or like her favorite TV show. And I was thinking to myself, the author needs to make her 21st century. Mm -hmm. So as I said, Etta is a violinist. Mm -hmm. It comes across as this huge deal and I figure, hey, she's gonna use her weapon of violin sticks or something and beat some bad guys up, but she did not do that. She played the violin twice and then it was gone. <laughs> There's yeah. no more mention, no more playing. I was like, why is this it's even in the synopsis. It's it's uh -huh, a huge she's deal. A big thing. And then there's nothing on it. It made me sad. The <laughs> other thing I really didn't like about the book in general was the prologue completely drew me in and I was really excited yeah. about it. But then it just like all that excitement that it was dropped. in that chapter was gone. <laughs> it just was gone. It seemed like I was we were gonna go through like all these big time like heists and he was gonna be something swashbuckling and all this other stuff and they there's... they were on a boat. <laughs> so as with most young adult romances, there is romance, <laughs> obviously, or that would be false advertisement and I'd be kind of angry. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so, Edda and Nicholas kind of get close, but that closeness is nothing. I feel nothing for the relationship. At first, I was like, okay, this is cute, it's getting it, it's very slow, but when they actually got together, there was no fireworks, there was no fizzle on the, uh, in the book. I felt nothing towards the relationship. There's a ship on the cover, but there is no shipping in this yep. book. No shipping. <laughs> I ship none of the characters together. <sighs> the reason why that it's so slow really is because the descriptions adds to that. She describes in a very lengthy paragraph, like the buttons on his tunic. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I don't need to know if they're made from brass gold and carved by the God Pharaohs. <laughs> Army men people with the point of a feathered pen from Edgar Allan Poe. I don't need to know that! I'm gonna say, <laughs> as a young adult book, it does not need to have the description level of a George R. R. Martin Game of Thrones book. It's not, <laughs> it's not high fantasy. So that's all we have for today for this spoiler-free review. Please let us know what you thought of Passenger. Did you like it or did you not? Please just say down below so we can discuss it because I'd love to discuss it with people. Once again, please like and subscribe to our channel for more reviews upping up. For more reviews, they're up and coming on Woo! our channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye.